as part of our documentation on PyAutoCAD for uh, Python optimization in AutoCAD, we have uh, introduced roughly PyAutoCAD in the first video, and then in the second video we presented polylines, and in this video uh, we will continue introducing how to create objects using PyAutoCAD, meaning the Python module available for AutoCAD optimization. And in this video, I will um, go through a coding example that we publish on our blog uh, that demonstrates how you can add arcs to a um, AutoCAD template using PyAutoCAD and how you can modify arcs and access some of its uh, properties. So the first thing uh, to do is to import the relevant functions from PyAutoCAD uh, meaning AutoCAD itself for creating the template, an A point for being able to specify an AutoCAD point, and a double for uh, creating the uh, coordinates. And then we will also be using uh, the math module uh, in this example. Once we imported those uh, modules or, or functions from within those modules, we use the AutoCAD method to construct a AutoCAD template and then we create an AutoCAD point uh, with the coordinates x30, y30, implying that c is uh, equal to 0. And then we can already call uh, the addArc uh, method on the currently open model. Um, so for this we use the template, we access the model, and um, we, add, um, we add an arc using the addArc method. Now, this method takes uh, some parameters. You can see the syntax here. Um, the center point is an AutoCAD point, so an A point object, um, and the radius is a float. And then we have a start and an end angle as the um, last two parameters for this constructor or for this uh, method. So, in this case, we have now the center point of this um, arc specified as uh, x30, y30. We have a radius of this arc um, away from the center point um, with the value 7.5. We have a start angle of 0 and an end angle of 4. Now, these angles, they, when using the add arc method, are specified in radians, not in degrees. And the arc is drawn counterclockwise. So um, starting um, from the x-axis um, in the first quadrant. So arcs are drawn counterclockwise. Um, and this is basically demonstrated here in the screenshot. This is the first arc that was created here with an opening angle of 0 and a closing angle of 4 radian. Um, and you can see uh, the result here. Now, just uh, for comparison, the second arc is created here. It has a different center point, uh, a bigger radius, and different opening and, and, and end angles. Um, and those you can see here. Um, you can see the opening angles, in this case, bigger than zero. Um, and if you want to access the area of an arc object, um, you can access that. That is a property value uh, that you can directly access of this arc object. Uh, so you can write dot uh, area. Um, and this will um, return the implied area by this arc, which is also um, polyline. And um, whenever you have a polyline um, and you want to calculate the area of a polyline, then um, there is an it's implicitly assumed as a, that a closing line is drawn from the end point to the start point. And um, the area that is um, then enclosed by uh, this uh, polyline and the implicit line between the end point and the start point, that's then the area indicated by the polyline, or in this case, the arc. Um, and you can access that as a property value, um, which is demonstrated here. You can also access other property values, like, for example, the center point, uh, the radius, the end point, the start point, start angle, the end angle, um, 
and this is also demonstrated here in this post. Um, and this is basically uh, our introduction to how you can add arcs to a AutoCAD template using PyAutoCAD. And you can also find the link um, to this coding example or this documentation in the description of the video. In the next video, we will be looking at other objects um, and how to create them using PyAutoCAD.